A brand new Hellboy film has hit theaters this weekend, and that marks three films in the Hellboy franchise. In today's video, I'm going to rank all three films from worst to best. Now, this is your first time on the channel. My name is Adam, and I love talking about movies and entertainments. I love ranking stuff, having live conversations with each and every one of you guys. If that's something that you're interested in, think about hitting that subscribe button and also joining the conversation in the comments section down below. Let's have a good conversation about Hellboy what we thought about the uh, previous two Del Toro films, as well as the newest film directed by Neil Marshall. Now, this is my personal take on the franchise. I think we might have the same list. However, if there's any differences, I definitely want to hear about them because I want to know why you have movies placed in certain spots. If you guys are interested in the, the reviews for each individual film, make sure you guys check the gimmicks above my head when they pop up. So let's get started. Ah! That's right, the brand new Hellboy film finds its way at the bottom of my list, and for good reason. This is one of my most anticipated films of 2019. I said that in my review, and was saying it again. I was really disappointed here. I think that with that R rating that they did get with this film, they did things because they had it. They didn't ask themselves, should we do it? They try to push the envelope with the language. They push the envelope with the violence, and it doesn't really pay off here. It comes across as gross and really hard to look at. However, there are positives for this film. David Harbour is a very good actor, and I think he really delivers a different type of Hellboy than we saw in previous installments, but he, he has this a gravitas, min, uh, kind of menacing presence to him as well. I do enjoy Ian McShane, even though he's playing Ian McShane, and Mila Jonovich, you know, she's not the greatest actress, but I really feel a, a Sofia Botella vibe from The Mummy in her performance. I, I enjoy it. I think there's a, some good things to have there. I think that Mila and David Harper are really giving it their all in this film and really owning those roles. However, the movie completely lets them down. Neil Marshall is a pretty dang good director. He's done some great episodes of Game of Thrones. However, in this film, I... I some good actions, pieces, and a lot of cool stuff in there, but there's not really a substance to it for me, and it just really kind of just let me down. The world that was created in previous films, I don't really feel that created vibe here. I feel like it's pretty, just it is what it is type of thing. There's a lot of bright, flashier colors in here, but it doesn't really feel like there's it's a grounded in reality kind of world. It just kind of disappointed me uh, for sure, easily at the bottom of my list. Hellboy from 2004, the very first film directed by uh, Guillermo del Toro, Toro, which is a very great director. But when this movie first came out, I really didn't care about it too much. I watched it and I thought the ending was rather weak. I didn't really care about the characters. I thought the visuals were kind of, ah, uh, whatever. But I rewatched it and I completely ate those words. I actually really enjoy this film now. I thought there's a, a lot of stuff that they this film really does right. I feel like they really gave us a world that even though the technology wasn't there to develop it as fully, they definitely had laid the groundwork for a future installment in the Golden Army. However, I the big thing with this film is that Ron Perlman just absolutely owns the role. He has a kind of dryness to him, but also a relatability with his humor and, and his character as well. He's a phenomenal actor. I really think he delivers in this one. Selma Blair as Liz also is a good character, and but is not as fleshed out as she is in the second film. However, there is a, some good groundwork for her character moving forward in the franchise. Doug Jones, probably one of my favorite characters in this first film. He plays Abe Sapien. I really like his um, uh, influence, uh, influ uh, his his mind in this one. He's a very smart guy as well. And I just like his presence on screen. The villains are rather weak with uh, Rasputin, but they do look amazing. The visuals do let the film down a little bit, but I definitely understand the scope that this film is trying to set. And I appreciate what Del Toro was trying to do with this film. And this is a very good outing for a franchise, the start of a franchise. The one thing I did notice with the second watch is that our heroes don't see what's going on the villains are doing for like the first like 30 to 40 minutes. That is a kind of a negative for me because as a viewer, I know what's happening, but I want our heroes to kind of catch up to me because I want to see what the story goes. There's some really good action in those first couple of like 45 minutes, however, so there's that as well. So it's a really solid outing. You woke up the baby. 
Hellboy 2 The Golden Army is the bona fide best Hellboy film there is. And I knew it was a dang good movie before I even rewatched it this last week. And I can tell you one thing. Ten minutes into the movie, I looked over to my wife and said, this is a damn good movie. Very underrated sequel. Very underrated comic book movie. And a very underrated Del Toro movie. I do enjoy this director so much. Obviously, he just won for The Shape of Water. He also directed a movie called Pan's Labyrinth, which is a fantastic film as well. However, what I really loved about this film is he took everything, all the groundwork he laid in the very first Hellboy movie... He came here, he had a bigger budget, he was able to develop it a lot more. He was able to make a world that felt realistic but also dived into that fantasy element. Some really crazy stuff that happens in this film but it com- feels completely believable because of the previous groundwork that was laid. It's definitely had took its time to develop the characters and Ron Perlman definitely shows that a second outing definitely benefited him in this role and he brings even more relatability, more charm, but also some fiction in his character as well because of this evil elvish prince that's kind of conflicting him and saying kind of tempting him it's like do you want to side with the uh, us quote unquote monsters or do you want to side with the humans that are not going to uh, want you to be a part of their society in the first place there's also some really good character development with Liz for some of Blair's character and uh, Hellboy I really loved those character moments even though they didn't necessarily have to be in the movie I thought they definitely laid the even progressed their characters from the first film uh, Doug Jones is Abe he has a romantic relationship in this film. That's the one story point that I don't necessarily need to have in it, but it's still interesting. It definitely moves Abe along as a character as well. But my favorite thing about this movie is the visuals. The visuals are fantastic. They're top-notch. They definitely improved them from the previous film. The makeup work for the monsters and these creatures are amazing. It's uh, fantastic and epic in scope. It definitely feels kind of like a Lord of the Rings type of uh, style and gives me that kind of vibe there, but in a more modern setting. I think this film is a fantastic, very underrated comic book movie that if you ask me what's my favorite comic book movie sequel, Hellboy 2 is going to be in the argument, and at least in the conversation at least. Very great movie, and I think you should definitely check this the first two Hellboy movies out and skip that last one, I would say. But that's my quick ranking of all three Hellboy films ranked from worst to best. Yes, I do know there's two animated films that I'm not going to include in this one because I'm only talking about the uh, cinematic films. But I'm looking forward to watching those animated, uh, those motion pictures as well. Anyway, guys, that's my quick ranking. I already said that, but my name is Adam. Until next time, guys, I love talking about movies and entertainment type of stuff so if you like that make sure you hit that subscribe button let me know you guys list in the comment section down below until next time i will see you later